Hi, welcome to the seventh tutorial on creating a virtual cluster using Oracle VirtualBox and Ubuntu Server. In this tutorial, I'm going to set up the Ganglia monitoring system. Now, unlike the scientific Linux tutorial, I'm going to use um, just apt-get to install it instead of compiling it from scratch. It's a bit faster, a bit easier, so... Um, before I do that, I want to just add the NFS folders that we created in the one of the previous tutorials to the fstap uh, file so that it automatically mounts when the server starts. So I'm just going to SSH into node 1 and then vim slash etc slash fstab. Um, you'll see I already added the root line here. So just add that line and then add master slash home tab slash home tab nfs tab nfs verse equals three comma no lock and then uh, zero space zero again and then just add master slash export into slash export it is nfs and nfs version 3 with no lock zero ah not that again uh, zero zero and then right quit mount slash root mount slash home mount slash export and then we do the same for node 2 well that's not nice Okay, well, I'll have to fix that. Slash etc slash fstab. And then add master slash root slash root nfs nfs verse equals 3 no lock 0 0 master slash home over home nfs nfs verse equals three no log zero zero and master export over slash export nfs nfs verse equals three no log zero zero right quit mount slash root oh I, had a, I accidentally deleted my node 2 earlier, so um, I haven't installed the NFS common libraries yet. Let's try that again, there we go. Uh, that's also why, for some reason, um, the home dot well, the DNS for Node 2 is some kind of messed up. Okay, actually installing Ganglia on the head node. apt get install. Ganglia dash monitor rrd tool gmatad ganglia web no 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 yeah ganglia dash web front end uh, and that should be all of them so minus y Bleh. don't make typos typos are bad ok 
Okay, I'm just gonna pause until this is done installing. Okay, somewhere during this setup, it's going to ask you to uh, restart the Apache server. So just select yes and let it continue. And then again at the end, it's probably going to ask you one more time to restart the server. Then just again select yes. There we go, just restart again. Okay, now we want to copy the Apache configuration file that Ganglia creates uh, over to the actual Apache configuration. So cp slash etc ganglia dash web frontend apache.conf into slash etc slash apache2 slash sites enabled slash ganglia dot conf okay then we need to configure the ganglia g the gmatad file so slash vim slash etc slash ganglia slash gmatad dot conf then we want to scroll down until you find the data source line. Then replace my cluster with your cluster name. In this case, just test cluster. And localhost with the um, IP address or domain name of your master node. So you can say master.testcluster.com and then just write and quit the file. Then we need to configure the gmod conf file so vim slash etc slash, slash ganglia slash gmod dot conf and then from top to bottom go until you find the def line and change the no into yes if you do not do this um, the ganglia monitor on the nodes oh hold on hold on no sorry on the master node, death should be no, otherwise you will not be able to receive any information from the nodes. So disregard what I just said. Go down further until the cluster section and change the name into test cluster or whatever name you chose on in the gmatad file. Then go down. Let me just make sure until you get to the UDP send channel this one and then comment out this line and add a uh, host equals master dot test cluster dot com and that should be it for this file just make sure you have a TCP accept channel accepting port equals uh, h6 blah 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 oh at the UDP receive, receive channel, comment out the MCAST and bind lines so that you only have this port. Okay, and then you can write and quit this file. Then let's restart the services. So, service ganglia monitor restart. Then, service gmata restart and service apache2 restart okay you should now be able to go to 10.0.0.23 slash ganglia um, this IP should be whatever your public IP for the head node is so just I have config for it and there we have a working ganglia obviously it only has the head node so far but everything's there it works mostly so let's just ssh into node 1 then up get install ganglia monitor just add minus y Ok, 
Okay, let's just edit the gmont file. So vim slash etc slash, ga slash ganglia slash gmont.conf. Okay, now we have to set def to no. If you do not do this, ganglia will take a hundred up a hundred percent CPU load. So it's important to come to switch death to yes. Um, next is the cluster name. We have to set to test cluster. Uh, UDP ch send channel. Um, we have to comment out this line and add host equals master dot test cluster dot com that's fine and then the UDP receive channel has to be commented out completely so just comment out this line well this stanzas and then you can write and save the file and service ganglia monitor restart okay now if we bring up our ganglia service or ganglia web page soon we should see the next node connected this can take a few minutes so while we're waiting for that, I'm going to SSH into node 2. Oh, come on, I just fixed it. Ah, there we go. And then do the setup as well. App get install ganglia monitor. Yes. Vim slash etc ganglia gmon.conf def equals yes name equals test cluster udp send comment that out and then host equals master.testcluster.com and then comment that out, right quit, service, ganglia, monitor, restart. Okay, if we bring up the ganglia service now, we should see node 0 2 as well. And soon node 2 should be. Uh, well, node 2 lists, but node 1 doesn't. So I'm guessing I made a mistake with node 2 somewhere. Well, node 1 somewhere. Let's go take a look. Mm, def, yes. Test cluster is correct. Maybe it's these spaces. Master.testcluster.com I'm not seeing any other issues, so... Ah. Well, if you see what I did wrong in Node 1, please let me know in the comments and I will fix it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.